Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my Inspire One firmware experiment. The reason for this video is I've noticed that a lot of guys are complaining about the video range of their Inspire One. When I first purchased my Inspire One, it had a firmware version 1.08 on it. And I flew it around for a while and uh, the thing ran great. So then uh, firmware update 1.09 came along. That expanded the no-fly zones. Well, my girlfriend lives in a Class D airspace, so every time I would fly my Inspire at her house, I, I'd get that warning. That kind of bugged me, so I took the Inspire back to firmware version 1.08, and I checked the release notes, and sure enough, all 1.09 did was expand the no-fly zone. So then firmware version 1.10 came out, and all that version did was throttle back some of the no-fly zones for some of the airports that no longer existed. Apparently, version 1.09 was flagging airspace that was no longer Class D airspace. So it wasn't but a month later I started seeing complaints in the uh, Inspire One forums regarding video reception. I didn't think much about it, but my business partner Derek has two Inspire Ones. Now he has the Gen 1 Inspire Ones and I have the Gen 2 Inspire One. So we started off flying his Inspire 1, and the thing flew great, video reception was great, everything worked well. Well, then he did the firmware upgrade, and the video reception just turned to crap. I mean, it just became useless. I mean, two, three, four hundred feet out, video was breaking up, we get the little green lines across the screen, it was terrible. So I started to theorize that firmware version 1.10 was actually throttling back the video transmitter on the bird hence causing crappy reception to not only the master controller, but the slave controller as well. So I would get into the Inspire forums and I'd ask around, you guys having bad video reception, which firmware version are you running? And consistently they were running 1.10. So I thought, let's do an experiment. So I got one of my partner's Inspire ones, took it home, downgraded the firmware to 1.08. Sure enough, video reception cleared up, the thing worked great. So then we tried it in dual controller mode. Video reception was awesome. So we had one more Inspire 1, version 1.10. So I thought I would make a video about throttling back the firmware version to 1.08. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take the bird back to 1.08, but I was able to take it back to 1.09 because you can only downgrade the firmware one version at a time. Okay, so the bird on the right that's the latest firmware, the one that's firing up now. And the controllers are, yep, are the, the latest firmware version. This is a slave controller. The slave controller is now version 1.7, and the bird is 1.10. So this is the latest, greatest firmware from DJI right now. All right, so let's do some range testing. Derek actually has a range extender on his controller. I don't have one on mine. So right now we're at 700 feet. And the range seems to be okay, actually. It's there, now, now, I'm, now my video feed sucks. We're a thousand feet, I've got a weak image transmission signal warning, and you can see my video feed just sucks ass. And we're only 1,500 feet out, and you can see it's just, it's just turned to crap. Okay, so far, I am convinced that firmware version 1.10 on the bird throttles back the video transmission strength. As you can see, we're at a thousand feet and it was already just breaking up. There you can see the screen's rolling. It just looks like crap. 500 feet and it seems to have settled in. Oh, just got that. You can see even at 200 feet we're having issues. It's not perfect. It's not rock solid. Alright, so this bird is version 1.8 and the remote controller is 1.6 and this is single controller mode we're just gonna fly out and see what kind of range we get so we're at 2200 feet without range extenders and reception is really good this is with version 1.08 on the bird all right so now we're flying Derek's bird his other bird that is version 1.8.1 is the aircraft as you can see, and then the remote controller is 1.6, as you can see right there. So now we'll see what kind of range. We don't have any range extenders on. Uh, I'm, I am the, using the slave controller, and Derek has the master, and he's going to go fly 
We'll see what kind of range we get here. So far it is rock solid. 300 feet, 400 feet, 500 feet, 600. I'm sorry, I'm start, I started to lose just a little bit. 1,000 feet. Keep in mind we have buildings in our way and all kinds of stuff. So this is sort of a worst case scenario. Solid? Yeah. So we're 2,000 feet out and connection has just been rock solid to my, I'm the uh, slave controller here. We're at 2,300 feet and we're just, I'm just getting a weak transmission signal at 2,300 feet. And we're still getting a weak transmission signal warning, but that's actually the controller, not the video signal. And now the video feed looks real good. 1,500 feet, 13, 12, 11. So you can see the video, video feed is nice and solid. Derek has two Inspires. This is the one that's set up for the X5, and it's firmware version 1.8 and controller versions 1.6, and the video feed is just rock solid. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna downgrade the firmware version on the other bird to 1.8 and the controllers to 1.6 and see if this doesn't resolve once and for all our transmission, video transmission issues on this bird. Now, just for the record, Derek's other bird was on 1.10. I downgraded the controllers to 1.6, the bird to 1.8, and that solved all video transmission problems. So now we're gonna try it with Derek's other bird. If that solves the transmission problems in his other bird, I'm gonna be thoroughly convinced that firm firmware version 1.10 throttles back the video transmission signal. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is we're going to uh, downgrade this bird here from the latest firmware version 1.10 to, depending on what you, documentation you look at, it's either 1.8 or 1.08. 1.08 makes sense to me because then there's 1.09 and then 1.10 so we'll call this 1.08 these controllers we're going to downgrade to version 1.6 from version 1.7 this one and this one so dji calls this a firmware refresh that's what they call it the way to downgrade the controller firmware is to hold your finger on the little graduation cap or box in this corner here 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. There you go. So that brings up firmware 1.60. I download. Check your internet connection. Oh, great. All right, so now we select the download button now that we're connected. So we're downloading the 1.6 firmware version for the master controller. All right, so now that we've downloaded, we're going to hit the firmware refresh. So it's installing version 1.6, if you can see there. All right, so here we are on the second controller here. It's ultimately the slave controller. As you can see, it's at 87%. So if your firmware just stops updating and gets hung up at like 50% or something, you just shut everything down and restart the update. So it looks like it's taking this time. When the LED turns green, you know the firmware update's done, 100%. So now we're gonna reboot, or we're gonna, we're gonna close the firmware update, leave the app open, reboot, connect. Now it should say aircraft disconnected. If it just says disconnected like that, we're screwed. But if it says aircraft disconnected, then we're good. All right, so there we are, aircraft disconnected. Let's see what version we have, and we are golden 1.6 all that's left is the bird and then we'll have to bind everything and then it'll be test flight time all right so I've got the uh, bin file on this uh, micro SD card we're just going to insert it into the Inspire and fire the Inspire up and she'll do her thing so we have fired up the Inspire here so we'll get is a really fast blinky blinky light here she runs through post and we should hear some noises Sound, that sound like old uh, floppy drive access noises coming from the camera here. That's the sound I've been waiting for. You can see the camera's doing all kinds of weird shit. This is the behavior that I'm used to seeing. And the light turns red. Here's the thing about these upgrades. You get zero feedback 
when it's done. So what I do is I just let it run for 25 minutes and then I check the log file and the log file will tell us if the upgrade has been successful or not. And if not, then we start over again and we try it again. Okay, so more than likely we're gonna have to bind the bird to the controller over there, but maybe not. Let's see what happens. And it looks like we're gonna have to bind it. All right, hey everybody, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but we're trying a new experiment. The aircraft is version 1.9. Our controllers are version 1.6. I couldn't get the aircraft to go back to 1.8, so we thought this might be a good opportunity to see what our video range with version 1.9, and we'll see if it's 1.9 that basically breaks the video transmitter, or 1.10 that breaks the video transmitter. This is the same bird that was getting crappy reception a few hours ago. So far, so good. All right, 800 feet, and the video's solid as a rock. How about you? Yeah, no issues whatsoever. I have the extenders on. Okay, so yeah, Derek's got the extenders, but I don't. There, I just got a little bit of a flash on the screen at 1200. We're at uh, 1400 feet, 1500. So, okay, I'm starting to break up. 1600. So, so in all fairness, we're kind of under this structure here. I'm just gonna go out and uh, see what my range looks like and I'll uh, yell at you. I'll yell at the camera here. Range is good, so good. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see here, the reception's just real solid. This is the same bird that was getting crappy reception a few hours ago. Okay, so this bird that Derek has right there is the same bird that was getting crappy reception earlier today. So we uh, downgraded the firmware to 1.9 from 1.10 and reception's good. So let's sum up what, I, what we did today. We have three Inspires, two of them were on the latest firmware, 1.10, and they both had bad reception. We downgraded both of them to 1.08 or 1.8, we'll say, and reception got better. So we have a total of three birds that are now on version 1.8, and all three of them run great, and they get great video reception. So it's a pretty good conclusion that firmware version 1.10 throttles back the video transmission. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, thanks. It costs nothing, it's free.